So I've been having a heck of a time framing with a drill. We built an entire chicken coop and we drilled everything together, all the two by fours, everything just screwed together. I've been working on a door for the chicken coop and I also need to frame out a room in our garage for an office. So I decided to upgrade and I haven't even fired this guy yet. This right here is the Ryobi 18 volt, 30 degree nail gun. This is a nail gun that is powered by a 18 volt lithium battery. Now, there's a couple caveats right before I even tried to use it. I've never pulled the trigger on this thing, not yet. I just had to go back to Home Depot to get a set of proper batteries. We're gonna experience this thing for the first time together and we'll see if it's worth it, if it's worth the price. And I guess before we get started, let me jump right into the price and how much I paid. For the nail gun itself, I paid about 280 bucks for it at Home Depot. No, it did not come with any batteries and it did not come with any nails. So again, it's a 30 degree nail gun. Now what's cool about this guy is it'll take up to, I believe, three and a half inch nails. Now one big difference and the reason I decided to go with the Ryobi as opposed to some of the other brands out there is because this thing's almost an instant fire. There's no sound of it charging up, pumping, anything like that. It's pretty much as soon as you squeeze the trigger, you're popping a nail in. I paid 280 bucks for this thing. Paid a hundred dollars for two four amp hour 18 volt batteries with a charger. So two batteries and a charger for a hundred bucks plus this. So we're looking at close to $400, a little more when you're talking about tax. I bought two boxes of nails, one three inch and one two and three eighths inch. And those were about 40 bucks a piece. First things first, let me show you how to load it. I just unboxed it probably three hours, four hours ago and realized that my existing Ryobi batteries, these are 18 volts, but these do not work. You had to, you have to use a larger battery. That or these things are just so old that they're not compatible. Not really sure, they look pretty much the same. Let me show you how to load the clip for this thing. So check out how cool this thing is. So it's a pretty good size, but 30 degree means you have more of a steep angle on your uh, clip right here, magazine. I don't know what you want to call this thing. Your, your uh, hopper. Let's call it a hopper. I like that. It gives you an option to be a little more compact. You might be able to fit inside studs a little better, stuff like that. So to load it, it's super easy. So you don't have to open anything up to load it. To load it, you take your nails and you stick them right through the slot on the bottom right here. I like to slide them up past this little clip inside here. There's a little black retaining clip. You just stick them there. And then what you do, once the nails are just slid in there, you take this guy right here and you pull it all the way down and then release it. And then that gives it tension. So now this thing's loaded. So what's cool about this now is if you want to release the nails, if you want to change your nail size, you have a jam, something like that. All you have to do is pull down on this and then you just relieve the tension. And then there's a little clip right here. You pull that up and then the nails slide down and then there's a little retaining clip. Just push that retaining clip in. It just puts a little tension on the side. It keeps the nails from falling through and that's it. So you can pull your nails back out, put them in and you got yourself a loaded nail gun. Ended up buying this guy right here at Home Depot. It came with two of these for a hundred bucks. These are four amp hour batteries and According to Ryobi, this guy should last you about 750 shots off of one four amp hour battery. So a two four amp hour batteries could last me a pretty good amount of time. One box of nails was 750 nails. So that's pretty good. One box of nails plus one battery is a pretty busy day for me at least. All right, so the nail gun and features, obviously the battery is inserted right back here and you'll notice something that it wiggles around. That's because this thing actually has, let me see it up there from the side. You can see this guy wiggles around and that's because it's actually a shock absorber for your battery connections. So you take your battery, you stick it in here and for a second it looked like it just wasn't seating, but that's just a shock absorber, which is pretty cool. To basically enable it, cause it's not just gonna fire right away. So here's the trigger right here and right below the trigger, there's a little button right there. So you hold this down and the green light comes on and that's how you enable it. So you also have two different modes. You have, now I don't know what the name of the modes are. You can go to standard single shot mode right here. Now it's like a semi-automatic. And now you go this guy right here and it's kind of like a slam fire on a shotgun. I feel like that's the best interpretation because basically all you have to do, hold the trigger down and you keep punching it and then it should keep throwing nails in there. So without further ado, let's go ahead, give this thing a try 
We'll see if we can pound a couple two by fours together. And then I'm gonna talk about a couple more features. Just kind of some leftover scrap from a project I'm working on right now. So I'm gonna set those there. Now, one thing that you can do, and like I said, I haven't actually fired this thing yet, but right here, right here, you actually have a seating adjustment. So like a, a seating height adjustment. I'm not sure what you call it, but how deep it actually drives that nail in. So if it's not driving deep enough, you can kind of adjust that, give it a little more depth. Or if it's going a little too deep and just kind of pounding that wood, you can back it off a little bit. Not sure what direction does what, but I'm sure the instructions do tell you if you're interested. All right, so these guys are two and three eighths inch nails, so it shouldn't go all the way through. Let me zoom you guys in a little better. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're in single shot mode right here. So let's see how this thing works. Dang, that actually looks pretty good. Let me set this down. That actually looks pretty good. It's just below the surface. The wood is a little wet right now, but look at that. That thing is together. Heck yeah. All right, so let's try. Let me see how fast I can get this thing to actually cycle. So I'm gonna put a couple more nails, see how well it can cycle. I'm gonna pull this tag off. All right. So that's pretty fast as far as nailing. <laughs> Not too bad. Let's try the uh, slam fire mode. That's pretty impressive. Now I will say, with the slam fire mode, there's a couple nails that didn't quite seat as deep as the others. So I'm not too sure why. It could have been the angle. I think with that slam fire mode, you're kind of like, <laughs> these aren't coming apart. Like with that, with that full auto mode, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm bouncing it off of the wood. Whereas on the other one, you're pressing it in. So it's a little more intentional, if that makes sense. Now granted, I'm not a professional framer, anything like that. I'm super amateur. I even think that's too much of a compliment for me from what I actually am. That's pretty dang cool. It's powerful and the thing's ready to go as soon as you slam it. Well, that's kind of perfect. It actually just started raining. So I guess I'm ready to put the camera away. I'm, I think this thing's gonna be a huge time saver. I think the fact that it runs off of batteries, I do have a nice compressor and stuff, but I don't wanna have to lug air hoses around and all that. So I'm thinking this will save me some time in the future. I don't regret the purchase yet. But about 400 bucks out the door, you get yourself a nail gun and a couple batteries. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like the Pew Pew type content, don't forget to check out my main channel, Mr. Big Kid Channel. That's all about the guns and the good stuff. So thank you all so much. I'll see you guys later.